Alright, I made a full Cambridge style guest paper for Pure One for October November 2024 and it also comes with a Cambridge style marking scheme. But before we get there, I want to go through some of my predictions of the questions that could come up in October and these predictions along with my own intuition are what helped me in the creation of this guest paper. So make sure to like the video, subscribe for more guest papers and let's get into it. So starting off with the first topic, quadratics. This topic can be split into three major questions. Completing the square, hidden quadratics and of course the discriminant. It's no secret here that the discriminant is the most dominant question in this topic. But it may surprise you just how frequently this question has come up in the past two years. It has appeared in all but one paper between 2023 and 2024. In the papers that it did appear in, it had a minimum showing of four marks per paper. So I'm almost certain that the discriminant will be present in the October papers. Moving on to the functions topic, I've decided to split this into three major questions, though in reality there are only two types of questions. I've split it into graph transformations, the transformations that come with the diagram, describe transformations, the one where you have to figure out which transformations have been applied to move from one function to another, and then finally the stock functions question that has range, inverse function and composite function. The stock functions question definitely comes up in the October paper. As for the transformations, whilst there's a chance of them showing up in the October series, I'm not too confident that they will come up. Now for coordinate geometry, I've also split it into three questions. The equation of a straight line question, the circles question, However, this has a lot of overlap with the straight line question, so I've considered every question that involves a circle to be a circles question. And we also have the points of intersection question, which typically comes before a hence find the area of the shaded region question. The points of intersection question is very dependent on the area under the graph question, so it has a pretty slim chance of showing up. For this topic, we're probably going to see a circles question rather than a straight line question. But in most circles question, you end up needing to find the equation of some tangent. So make sure you're good with finding the equation of a straight line. Now, you may notice that in the major series, we had a shortage of circles questions in the variant 1 and variant 2 papers. This is because the circles concept was embedded within the discriminant questions. So while circles came, they came in the form of the discriminant. In October though, they probably will be independent of the discriminant question and will come up in a more traditional manner. For circular measure, it's pretty much just a perimeter and area question that's probably going to show up unless Cambridge decides to spice it up and throw in an obscure question. But don't expect much of a surprise here. Just make sure to polish up on your perimeter, area, angles and just geometry in general. Trig is an interesting one. It splits into three major questions being the trig hidden quadratic which usually comes up in the form of a show that this trig equation can be simplified into a quadratic in sine theta or cos theta. Then we also have a trig identity question and a trig transformation question which is pretty much just the same as a normal transformation. I don't know why I made it separate. Under the trig topic it seems that recently Cambridge have been pushing more of the trig hidden quadratics question i.e. they show that this can be simplified into a quadratic in sine theta and less of the generic identity question and I assume in October we'll have more of the same but in all fairness the same concepts are applied in proving identities as well as reducing trig equations to quadratics. Also you notice that in the guest paper I've also gone with a trig transformation question. I just have a bit of a hunch that Cambridge could throw in a transformation in one or two of the October papers. So just make sure to polish up on those. Series, undoubtedly the most dominant topic in Pure One, also splits into three questions. Binomial expansion, arithmetic progressions and geometric progressions. The binomial expansion has a perfect attendance record so I'm 99% confident that this question is coming up in the November series with probably around 4 or 5 marks. So do yourself a favor and learn how to solve this question because it's coming and in all fairness it's not that difficult. Arithmetic progressions I have mixed feelings for. If you look at its performance in 2023, you'll notice that it showed up in March, it showed up in two of the June papers, 
but it didn't show up at all in the November series. So if that's anything to go by, then it might not come up in this year's November series. But this year it's appeared in both the March series and the June series, so I wouldn't write it off just yet. Geometric Progressions is another one with a perfect attendance, and I'm hoping you're starting to see why this topic is so formidable. Two of his three questions have come up in every single paper since the beginning of 2023. So if there's any one topic you need to master, this would be it. Now, from differentiation, I came across so many interesting trends. Its increasing and decreasing functions question had so much popularity in the June series. In fact, it appeared in all three papers, peaking at five marks in the variant one paper. I don't expect this to continue into the October series, but just be careful, I wouldn't put it above Cambridge to throw it back into the mix. The rates of change question has a pretty sporadic showing, so it may appear in one of the papers because students tend to struggle with it quite a bit, but it's a hard one to predict. Now, the two most common questions under differentiation are the stationary points question and the tangents and normals question. In the past, the stationary points question has showed up in pretty much every paper, but it looks like the tangents and normals question has been gaining a bit more traction recently. In the guest paper, I ultimately chose the tangents and normals question just because I feel like most students would be fairly comfortable with the stationary points question than the tangents and normals question. So it would be good for them to practice the tangents and normals question even if the stationary points question came they would probably nail it. Integration also has a question with a near perfect record, which is the find the equation of the curve question. Sometimes it may come as find f of x, so don't be surprised if that happens. This question is almost guaranteed to come up in the October series, and yes, I included it in my guest paper. Whilst the area under the graph question is more common than the volume of revolution question, I'd like to think that if you can solve a volume of revolution question, you shouldn't struggle with the area under the graph question. And that's why I ended up putting the volume of revolution question in my guest paper over the area under the graph. As you might have noticed during the analysis of questions, my idea with this guest paper was not just simply to try and predict Cambridge's next move, but more so to explore some of the more difficult concepts to help prepare you for the worst case scenario. Now, just before we look at the guest paper, I'm just going to list down a few concepts that I would strongly encourage you to polish on because they have a high likelihood of coming. So the list is as follows. The discriminant, the standard functions question with range, inverse and composite function, the circles question, perimeter and area, the trig hidden quadratic question, binomial expansion, geometric progressions, tangents and normals, and finally equation of a curve. Now remember when I said this and I'm also working on a full scale Cambridge standard guest paper for you guys. The major guest paper was okay, but this, this October November 2024 guest paper is probably my best work to date. The goal was for it to feel exactly as the actual exam. In other words, the exam before the exam. And it even has a front cover that resembles the exact front cover of Cambridge. And to top it off, it even comes with a Cambridge style marking scheme. For those of you who want to mark your work, like Cambridge would, particularly teachers. And on that note, for schools who are interested in using our guest papers or would like us to create their mock papers, feel free to fill in the form on our website and we will assist you. But anyways, I digress. You can get the guest paper on my website. The link to that is in the description down below. You can use the discount code SMILESTUDENTGUESTPAPER to get 50% off. So if you want an unfair advantage over other students, make sure to get yourself the guest paper. If you've made it to the end of this video, I'm going to assume you're a huge supporter of this whole platform. I've got something to explain. You might have noticed that recently the website which used to be free has now transitioned to a paid membership site. This is because it's very expensive to run this whole thing and maintain it. There are bills that I have to pay to keep this whole thing running. So I was forced to make a decision between shutting this whole thing down or changing it to a paid model 
and obviously I chose the latter. Now I understand that most of you are probably not in the greatest financial position and that's why I made the exam pack specifically for you guys. You can sign up for the exam pack for $10 and download all the resources available on the website from the topical questions to the guest papers and then cancel your membership. So in case you're wondering, this is why. But anyways, I hope you find the guest paper useful. Make sure to like the video and subscribe for the guest paper for Stats 1 coming up next week.